I'll praise with all praises. With the edified the sister, got the knowledge out, waking our people up. No reason why we're out here. It ain't gonna be too long. I just want our people to know because they always want to include these nasty Edomites. They always want to be friends and hold hands with them. But we're here to let our people know that they're your enemies. And, the, and everything that your enemy put in front of you is worldly things. Give me First John 2 and 15. And give me Sarah 12 and 10. And the Lord, he doesn't want you to follow after these worldly things. He wants you to follow him. That's the whole reason why he gave you this Bible to follow his law, statutes, and commandments and not these nasty white people. It's the book of 1 John, chapter 2 and verse 15. Bring it out. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. That's right. So the Lord is saying, love not the world and none of the things that are in it. If you follow on the world, the, I mean, the love of the Father is not in you. So stop following your own ways and stop following what you understand and start following God and start getting this information from this Bible. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 12, verse 10. Never trust thine enemies. Never trust what? Never, Never trust, trust thine enemies. enemies. Trust the man in the brown jacket over there. Never, Never trust, trust thine enemies. enemies. Uh, the Lord said, Never trust thine enemies. For like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. That's right. So you can have a silver pole and it's going to rust eventually. His wickedness is going to rest with you. Uh, so, just like iron rusted, so is his wickedness. The Lord said, don't trust them either. Don't trust them. Because they will do anything they can to get the upper hand on you to backstab you. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And though thou shalt be unto him as thou hast wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust have not been altogether wiped with him. That's right. So that nasty devil will walk by shaking hand and smile in your face and go do all manners of wickedness to be against you. They'll do anything that they can to get rid of you. They take crafty counsel against our people. That's why our people in the slum. That's why our people eating unclean food that the most I told us not to eat. Because they just put it in our face. And after, after they broke us, our people felt like it was okay to do these things. Making it a custom. And we should get rid of these things. And what's your nationality? What's your father's nationality? Father's black. So you been if, if you, if your father's a black man, you'll be his wife in the tribe of Judah. Do you believe in God? All right. So we are here. We the, we the Israelites that the Bible speaks about, and you will be an Israelite as well. If your father is a so-called black man, which if he's a black man, he is an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. Um, Israelite from the tribe of Judah, which is the same tribe that Christ is from. We're out here to wake our people up because we're, we're living in the last days. This world is coming to an end. And the Most High is ready to send in Christ back to save his people. His people are only 12 tribes of Israel. The black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. So, he's here to wake his people up. So, give me uh, Deuteronomy 76. So, his, the people that are in the 12 tribes of Israel, God called them a special people. So, you'll be a special person to God. Bring it up, no, Deuteronomy 7 and 6. For you are a holy people unto the Lord your God. The Lord your God has chosen you to be a special people to himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So the most I said that you are a special person to himself, and you will be above all these nations. But I know that you probably do you you know you understand what's going on in the world, how how people was enslaved, how enslaved and stuff like that back in the day and now it may seem like we're free but we're really not at the same time because you know we're basically being oppressed in a mental way 
but we're gonna bring that out to him. Can you do the run the Do the run? So the reason why so you know when we do the things that we do a lot of times we have to go you know, to our oppressors to get things done. Like when you gotta buy a house and stuff like that, you have to go to the white man and stuff like that. We're gonna bring that out to him. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe and to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses, all these what? All these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. That's right. So the reason why we was put in, in slavery and all the bad things are happening happening to us was because we wasn't following God's law, statutes, and commandments. So, we're here to wake our people up to let them know that they have to follow God's law, statutes, and commandments. We have information in that flyer, brother, to, you know, edify you, to let you know that you are the true and light that the Bible speak about. We got a YouTube on there, you know, we start watching videos, getting an understanding and stuff. But, the reason why we was put in captivity is because we wasn't following God's law, statutes, and commandments. So, now, we have the cursed us. Curse. This is the book of Deuteronomy 28 and 47. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and gladness of heart, but for the abundance of all things, therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and a want of all things, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he hath destroyed thee. That's right, read that from the top of you. Therefore, therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. So he said that since we didn't serve God the way we were supposed to, and started following our own ways and started doing what we wanted to do, we have to serve our enemies. So we got put in no pressure. We got put in slaves, you know. He said that he put the yoke of iron upon our necks, you know, because we didn't want to do what our masters were telling us to do. So in order for them to break us, they had to put yokes of iron upon our necks. They was hanging us. They were doing all kinds of evil things to our people and trying to basically destroy us as a whole. But we were God's chosen people. And since we're God's chosen people, he wasn't going to destroy us as a whole. But just like the father, you're going to punish your kid when he's doing wrong, right? That's the way that God is treating us. So since we was going against his laws and his rules, he started punishing us as a people. So... We have All right, that's cool. So you'll be an Israelite for the tribe of Judah, brother. Get the law, statutes, and commandments and repent, brother, because time is short. The sooner you do, God can start blessing you and get up out of this place, man. Right. Appreciate it. I was almost saying, never trust our enemies. And the brother, I mean, I hope he hearkened on to the words that I'm saying because he's mixed. He got a, he got a, he got a white, he got a white mom and a black dad. I mean, and that's a part of our curses because we don't want to go to our God and get the true understanding. If we had the true understanding, we wouldn't know. We not we don't need to be mixing with these other nations. But we have to wake up. So what I have to hold on. Our gun. Look at Sirach chapter six and verse thirteen. Separate thyself from thine enemies. Right. So you gotta separate yourself from them enemies, brother. Because <laughs> They gonna lead you to your destruction. That's all we're saying. We don't need to love the world because they're full of worldly things. They're vain people. The only thing that they do, they're gonna lead you to your destruction, to your ruin. So we have to follow our God and not these nasty white people because they ain't got nothing to do with saving you. Give me Psalms 83 and 1. Jeremiah 10 and 1. Uh, so we have to start trusting these people, man. We have to start trusting them now because if, if we continue to trust them, they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna turn against us. 
Because <clears throat> when the time will take us trouble, they're going to choose their own people. They're going to start killing us. They're going to start doing whatever they can so they can stay alive. But the Most High not going to allow that. He's going to allow his people to prevail so we can be above our people like he told us. Bring that out. It's the book of Psalm 83 from the top. Keep not thou silence, O God. Hold not thy peace and be not still, O God. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult. And they that hate thee have lifted up the head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, Come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. That's right. So they take crafty counsel against our people. They do everything that they can to change our nationality to whatever they want it to be. So now we're named after two nasty white men, African and American. Like, how can we be, how can our nationality be two different continents? The shit don't make sense. We are Israelites. That's right. So we have to wake up to this truth because they're not here to save us. They're here to keep us oppressed. So we can't go back to our land. So they continue. So they can continue to be above all people. It's crazy because our people don't want to hearken to them. They rather follow their own ways and continue to hold hands with these nasty people. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter ten, and verse one. Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus says the Lord: Learn not the way of the heathen. Learn the ways of the heathen. Learn not the way of the heathen. That's right. So the most I said, don't learn the ways of these heathens. Because if you do, you're leading yourself to destruction. You choose either life or death. So choose you to stay who you're going to serve. Because if you don't follow God, you're going to die. It's as simple as that. Uh, give me Peter, First Peter 5 and 8. Give me Psalm 36 and 1. So don't lead or don't learn the ways of your enemies because they want you to be destroyed. They want to be God's people. That's why they changed the image of them. That's why they made themselves Christ. This nasty Edomite with the doggy string here. They ball out every day looking like dog hair around the house. This is the book of 1 Peter chapter 5 and verse 8. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. That's right. So you don't need to follow these people because they know what they're doing. They know if they keep you from following your God, they're going to destroy, you're going to be destroyed. That's their way of destroying you. So they take both, they take advantage of what the Most High has cursed us with. They kill us physically, they kill killing our minds mentally. They're doing anything they can to keep us oppressed. But we have to, we have to get this understanding because the devil is always working to keep God's people down. So we got to get it together, Israel. Wake up to this truth. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 36 and 1. Have mercy upon us, O Yahweh, of all and behold Salakia. Start from the top. Have mercy upon us, O Lord God, of all and behold us, and send thy fear upon all the nations that seek not after thee. Lift up thine hand against thy strange nations and let them see thy power. Gone, gone, gone. So we praying that the Most High come down and show this wrath upon these people. We are the ones praying for this, the destruction of these wicked kingdoms and these wicked nations. We celebrate on the destruction of all these, this, <laughs> out of all these damn destructions that's going on in this world. The earthquakes and all that, 
That ain't nothing but the most high casting his judgment and his power onto this world. So we have to wake up and get this understanding. Because we're hoping for, we're praying for the day of the Lord's return. And for the Lord's return, we know that destruction is going to come before he comes. We know that this place is going to get worse and worse. And we're praying for that day. Because things won't get worse. I mean, things won't get better until things get worse. That's right. Look at Romans chapter 9 and verse 13. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. God, so like you. Read that again. God. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. That's right. So the most high. He hates Esau. He hates these red devils that's walking around in verse, smiling on his Sabbath day. He probably looking down like these motherfuckers. So like, <laughs> but he probably he probably thinking like all these people are going to be rested. Even though they're not God's chosen people, but when he comes back, they're going to be keeping his laws as well. Because they won't have no choice, because if they don't, we're going to destroy the ass. So, <laughs> the Lord said he loved Jacob and he hates Esau. And I wanted to ask the sister that because she says she is, and she goes to a Baptist church. I wanted to ask her if God loves everybody, but the brother was already talking to her, and I didn't want to be rude to interrupt her because I probably already knew what her answer was going to be, but it wasn't the right time for that. But she will get that understanding, Lord willing, if she hearkened to that flyer that we gave her and she started watching the video. And it's important that a lot of people do that because that's how you're going to get that learning. That's how you're going to get that knowledge and understanding. Listening to the people that's out on the streets and on the corners, they're the fine and waking up the people, the true Israelites, the black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. Bring that out, King. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 1 of Salaki, 3 and 1. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born, Salaki. So, and our people, believe that God loves everybody but la -ah, God doesn't say that. There's a time and a place for everything. The Most High has it set up that way. Just like good against evil. The Most High has things set up perfectly. So you choose a life or death. So bring it up. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up. That which is planted a time to kill and a time to heal a time to break down and a time to build up a time to weep and a time to laugh a time to mourn and a time to dance a time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing a time to get and a time to lose a time to keep and a time to cast away a time to rend and a time to sow, a time to keep silence and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate. But God loves everybody. A time to hate. The Most High said there's a time to love and there's a time to hate. If the Most High said that he hates Esau and you're made in his image and you're his people and they're doing all these matters of wickedness to us, you're supposed to hate these damn devils too. So, stop following these heathens because they're not going to save you. You have to start trusting in God. You have to start following in His ways. Bring it out, King. But we have to start following in God. Look at Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5. Trust in Yahweh with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. That's right. So we have to trust in the Most High. And not lead into the own understanding. But like the sister that was up here, she was talking to us. She believed that, you know, Mary had the baby when he was, when she was a virgin, but that's impossible. Can't nobody on this earth have kids with the spirit? The seed has to come from a man in order for a woman to conceive a baby. That's common sense. 
But our people have that Christianity mindset that these nasty white people indoctrinated us with. So now they believe marriage is proof pregnant. No, it don't work that way. The seed has to come from the father. Because if that if that was the case, then if that was the case, then our people <laughs> we would just be randomly having babies. Like a woman, woman do it and not others. It doesn't make sense. We have to add knowledge to knowledge. We have to make things make sense. This is the book of Acts, chapter 3, verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, at the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. That's right, so we have to repent. So the Lord can convert us and take away the sins that we are doing. And until we do that, we're going to either be destroyed or we're going to repent and be saved by our God and have that opportunity to get into the kingdom, which is you this day. Deuteronomy chapter 8 and verse 6. Therefore thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy God to walk in all his ways and to fear him. That's right. So, as an Israelite, the, black, the true black, Hispanic, and Native Americans that the Bible speaks about, that are Israelites, you have to walk in God's way. You have to keep his commandments and fear him. And when you do so, that's when you start to, that's when you begin to have wisdom in the Most High God. So let's wake up, Israel. Stop following these nasty white people and start following our true nation. Following after our God, the one true living God. Not these nasty guys that these people want to believe. Like these nasty ass stones sitting around in one place. Like how can you bow down to something that's not even alive? We can walk by and hit it, hit it with something hard and break the head off of it. Nothing gonna happen. Those are not guys, those are idols. There's only one true living God. And he decides if he wants to let you live or die. So you need to choose you this day who you gonna serve. Either you gonna follow his commandments. Are you going to be destroyed with your enemies? With that, I'm going to call on your howl. I show you how a shot. Shalom.